right. Well, it's been quite the eventful day today. It's only 10 a.m. <laughs> um, I have already been to urgent care for an hour. I've already been to parent drop off with Ashley and her friend. And I'm headed to Target to get prescription meds for Abby. So <laughs> let me get to Target and I will tell you everything that's going on. All right. Um, okay, so here's the ditty. Abby texted me at four in the morning. I didn't see the message, which was fine, because it was just a message telling me, at 7 a.m., I need you to take me to urgent care when they open. So not only had she woken up not feeling well, she already looked up the hours for the urgent care. <laughs> that kid, uh, she's always on top of it, even when she's sick. Um, UTI. She knew it was the symptoms for a UTI. She's had it once before a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, um, which is making the doctor a little suspicious. So we took her to urgent care, got her, well, <laughs> got her checked in. She was instantly sick. Had to have a little um, hazmat service team come out. <laughs> she won't, she'll be embarrassed I said that, but. Um, and she was sick the whole time. We were in urgent care, we'll just say that. Um, and I need to have boxes of those little puke bags because they're they're clutch. Um, so they did the tests, um, and it's um, like early stages, mild UTI, but they're worried that there's blood in her urine. And uh, without going into other details, we're gonna follow up with her pediatrician because the same thing, um, was on her test results from her UTI a year ago, which is why that's relevant. So they're worried that there's some kind of a kidney issue going on. Um, so, especially because she has like stomach pain and back pain. Um, the back pain wasn't necessarily in the place where the kidneys are, so they're like, I'm not really sure, but I need to get her into the pediatrician, so I'm gonna do that right now. I the meds just um, got ready here at Target. So I'm gonna go in and get them. They gave her some Zolfran in the urgent care and then I'm gonna get some more so she can try and keep down liquids because she's extremely dehydrated, they said. Um, so they need she needs to hydrate. So she's like laying in bed, clutching her water bottle, laying on a hot pad. And I just turned off the heat in her room. Oh, there's my friend, there's the, one of the coaches. So I'm gonna go in, get her meds, and we're gonna call the doctor. All right, I've been paying all the bills, signing up for all the classes for Ashley. I needed one of them to get onto the next credit card statement, so now I'm on a wait list for one of her classes, which is unfortunate, but the coach will let her in. I don't know why. She has to let her in because it's required to do the other squad she's on. She has to have certain classes in order to be on the competitive squad. But all of it, you guys, cheerleading is really expensive, just so you know. All of her competitions cost money. We have national competitions in Vegas, so I had to pay for the hotel. I had to pay for the flights, which I haven't booked yet because I needed to book her new session that starts next week, the day before Halloween. Um, it's just so much. So right now we're just focusing on the other squad, the one she's still currently on. Um, we have Halloween party tomorrow. There's my costume. I just printed out a really cute um, Halloween game for the girls to play tomorrow night. And I put it in my little bag, a little Halloween think quick but they have to like think of three Halloween candies, three scary animals, three Halloween songs. And throughout the night, they can just work on this. And then um, uh, whoever gets the answers first will get a prize. I've got some pens, some Sharpies to write drink names on. Although the mom that is hosting it, she'll think of that. Cause she has like this whole, she has like the dream house but she has like this whole drink nook inside her kitchen next to her dining room. <laughs> literally has everything in there. She has my dream kitchen, literally. She has like a drink station with everything set up. She has like a pebble ice machine built in. She has like a mini fridge in there. 
she has sharpies in the drawer she has dixie cups in the cupboard <laughs> like it's my dream kitchen if i ever have money i will like cut and paste her house um so i'm just getting stuff out here um but i'm also going to go in and make abby some soup um it's pretty late in the afternoon she has not eaten um because she just has felt like crap um but i also have these cute little treat bags that we did for the girls for their Halloween party. It's actually just the, I'm gonna take them out and put them in my little trick or treat bag, if you will. I'm gonna come back out and do this. Get Abby some food first. Um, well, I'm trying to show you one. It's these little treat bags that we had for the cheerleaders, the other teams. We have so many. For whatever reason this year, the other squads, the other teams that we've played against, they have not had cheerleaders. <laughs> and so we have not been giving them out. So we have so many. So we're giving them to our own girls. We're giving them to the other cheerleaders teams um, next week and we have a playoff game. And I'm also gonna take the bracelets out and put more candy in them and give them to the football team that we play for. So <sighs> working on all that kind of stuff. Someone is texting me. Can hear it in my ears but I'm gonna get Abby some soup get her feeling better I am gonna make myself I'm kind of just going along when I think of something I'm gonna have to do it because I need I want to make oh come on Mongolian soup not Mongolian soup Mongolian beef tonight There's a potential that I'll feel up to going for a walk tonight, but I don't know. I forgot to mention that Chelsea is home today. Um, I don't really know. Oh, that can't go in there. There's metal on that. Oh, that was cold. Um, she, yeah, she doesn't have school today. They have the PSATs at the school. So she doesn't have to be there. So she's been home. I just didn't want to make her have to take care of Abby. And Abby's, that she doesn't like that. She doesn't like it when her sisters have to take care of her. So I am gonna just take care of her today. Stay home, make her some soup. She actually likes the um, Mongolian beef recipe. She likes that. So she can have that for dinner tonight, but I'm gonna warm this soup up for her and get that up to her and refill her water. Okay, made Abby more soup and some applesauce. She's doing pretty good. I made myself a quick lunch. I really want the Mongolian beef now, but I, I need to eat now. Um, so I've got that thawed. I'm gonna come back in the kitchen in just a minute. It's kind of finishing to thaw. I did part of it in the microwave. Um, and I've got my pot ready for the rice. I'll make this later on today, probably after I take Ashley to cheer. I'll put this in the fridge here in a minute after I cook the meat, but I'm going to go and give Dot a little treat. We're going to get a pumpkin for her and we're going to carve out the beginnings of a pumpkin face and let her peck at it. Oh, I know. You've enjoyed having Chelsea here today, huh? Here, do you want this? Here. She loves the apple. Is that good? <laughs> Can you even see her? I know. Are you having fun with Chelsea at home today? Yeah. We've been getting apples a lot lately, huh? <laughs> All right, it's been a couple hours. Oof. Did we need that bright light? I don't know. Um, when I went to get Abby's meds at Target, of course, when I came home is when I got another text alert from the pharmacy that I have another medication ready to pick up. It's like when you pull up my family account, can we just see the ones that are available? <laughs> can you just tell me, oh, you could pick this one up at the same time. But anyway, it's been a couple hours. I have edited. I've worked on a whole bunch of other stuff. I've watched TV. I've taken Ashley to cheer and I have made Mongolian beef and rice. I wasn't going to make it this early. I even remember to get a green onion from Target when I picked up the other onion, which 
I didn't end up using because I forgot I already had one, but it's kind of nice to just have these on hand now. So I'm just making that a habit of having an onion on hand. Um, so I'm gonna go and eat my, my Mongolian beef. To be fair, I wanted this. And then I realized what time it was and I was like, dang it, I should eat dinner. I need to ha I have not been eating well. I will admit that I have not been eating well this week. So I'm actually gonna save this to put her, she didn't finish her soup. Um, so I need extra protein. Um, so anyway, but now that is ready for Jason when he gets home. Um, he won't be home for an hour, but I can go and enjoy my food. I'm going to see if Abby is awake. She was going to sleep when I left over an hour. It was like an hour and a half ago when I went to take Ashley to cheer. Um, ironically, I sat in the pickup line for her, got her, and she's like, I forgot my, my shorts and my cheer shoes are not, in fact, in the bag that we prepped ahead of time. I'm being quiet because I don't want to go upstairs and talk in front of Abby's door. But, uh, so we actually had to come all the way home behind the bus that she would have been on and she would have made it home on time for me to just get her from the bus stop and head to cheer. <laughs> it's like, why am I picking you up? But anyway, I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to go check on Ab Abby. I'm hoping she's asleep, but also I've got dinner for her if she wants that at any point tonight. I think she likes it. She had it one other time. So... Oh, and Chelsea's just doing her thing. <laughs> she's just, she's always doing good and she's always doing her thing, so.